It's an internet giant relied upon for email and a host of other online services. But now Yahoo has discovered in 2014 hackers stole the details of half a billion accounts. Banking data and unencrypted passwords were not taken, but names, emails, phone numbers, dates of birth and answers to security questions have been in the hands of cyber criminals for two years. It's one of the worst, absolutely, not just because, as I say, of the scale of the half a billion records themselves, but also because of the potential for breaking into other accounts. If people have used that data to reset their password in other accounts where they've used the same password, you know, it's as long as a piece of string. Yahoo's hack is the largest of a long list of damaging internet security breaches. In the last two years alone, 145 million eBay accounts were compromised. 37 million people were exposed as customers of Ashley Madison, a site for arranging extramarital affairs. And hackers got hold of the bank details of 16,000 TalkTalk Talk customers. Yahoo believes the hackers had the backing of a national government. Yahoo is part of a string of very large data breaches. So people in the world are being put into like giant telephone books in large data sets, which means over their careers, whether they're in the military, in essential services, critical infrastructure, a hostile nation state knows where you are, what your preferences are and how it can manipulate your attitudes. The advice to Yahoo account holders is to change password and change security answers for other accounts if they're similar to the answers to your Yahoo security questions. Also, avoid opening links or attachments in emails you aren't expecting, no matter how official they appear. The FBI is now working with Yahoo to track down the hackers, but the damage to customers and to the company's reputation has already been done.